Hello and welcome back to the part where that I forgot in the last episode, which is to actually investigate here in this mission. So I went ahead and brought us to this exact place so we can continue the story from here. So let's see what we'll find out when we investigate it. Free magnets. The smell of gunpowder fades. We're safe for now. We free the prisoner. He's a stalker named Magnus, part of Hammond's team, Selma's partner. Magnus is a mutant too. Not on the outside, but on the inside. He's got powers, mind powers. But he's not insane like the Nova sect. He's calm, real calm. Tune into some frequency only he can hear. Magnus tells his tale. Him and Hammond were ambushed by the Nova sect. Nova sect heard about Hammond. Heard he could talk to machines get machines going. So they left Magnus here to die and took Hammond south to their hangout. They call it the Spear of Heaven. Nova sect would make Hammond interpret the gifts of the ancients and open the gates to Eden. Whatever that means. Magnus thinks they're gonna blow up the zone and take the Ark with them. I suggest we rescue Hammond before something goes boom. Selmer and Magnus agree. Even ducks. Oh, so we can have him as a recruit. That's cool. Where did we find... Oh, way down there. Okay. I think I want to do this one first, though. Just for levels. Because if I'm not mistaken, down here it's at level 25 before. So I do want to get closer to that before actually going further down. So we're gonna do this part here before we start moving next part of the mission. <coughs> but you know what, I want to go there and die immediately. I will. Mm -mm. So. Let's see about this area, the Itza and Fala. Maybe this is a bad mistake. We shall find out. Have you heard that old legend? The two star-crossed lovers, Izzer and Fala, ran away to a lost palace somewhere in this area. This might sound crazy, but could this be the palace? Was that the legend about Izzer and Fala and all the loot they were hiding away in the lost palace? Because that's the story I'm interested in. These star-crossed lovers better have some supplies. We need them. So maybe this is more of a side mission area for some extra lore by the sounds of it because if I look here the only way out of here is back to where we came from so yeah this is probably just a lore mission of some sort oh there's loot I see it all the way back there Oh, level 45. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna do this one. Or maybe that's just that part of it. Let's see if we can f see another enemy. And if they are also around that level, I'm not gonna 
Then we're gonna head south. But I need to have visual on an enemy to make sure that that dog is not the only. Oh, here's an enemy. Level 20. Okay. So. Is he the only one? And that a sh that's a shaman, so he's the one we gotta take down first. And he's not alone. A tank? Never seen that dude before. But look at all that HP he's got, though. Oh, move. They're not close now, so we can so that we can move faster. Let's have a look around on this side. Before deciding how we're going to approach it. Because we really need to get some uh, scrap. I feel like I'm falling a bit behind on the resources. Just what I need. A bunch of metal men looking for trouble. Probably the ones who killed all these ghouls. Police bot? Is that another? That's also a robot. Police bot enforcer. This is really not a good place. I really don't have the equipment for this. We might have to come back here. Because by the looks of it, if I trigger them, they're gonna trigger the guys over here. I don't want that to happen. Oh, and there's a dude over there too. There's two of them. Hunter and a marauder. And then there's a shaman down below. There's a tank, there's a hunter. And they are close to each other. So there's no way for me to take one out at a time. Would I be able to get to that purple, though? Cold box. An art electrically powered cold box. Keeps in cold. Probably a good place to preserve the heads of your victims there. I mean, enemies. A metal box with a door. Perhaps to keep something fresh. Food or drink, perhaps. Seen some of these around. Apparently a good shelter against radiation. I think the ghouls kept souvenirs cold in these boxes. There's still some blood inside. What worries me about this side here is the tank and the shaman. Because no matter what, if I do want to get these, the shaman has to go down ASAP. No questions asked. Because if he stays alive for just one round, he will draw in reinforcements, and they are usually three of them. Let's see what kind of damage I can do. Seven. Nine. That's 16 alone right there, and he has 16 in HP. 9 and 6. That's not a silent one, though. That's the thing. But no matter what, I will get the attention of the others, no matter what I do. 
There's no way around that. And here I think I had decided to go for... Yeah, that passive. That one's really good. Okay, so let's go... Or could I try these guys? Ooh. What are the machines doing? They're crazier than us. We could have run one and up again. That's what Snevel said. And Bilt and Muckley. Now Snevel, Bilt and Muckley have no heads because they fell. Muckley had one foot. How can he run? We are faster than Muckley. We will make it. Yes, those rod heads are hiding from the metal men. Well, look at that. Izza and Fala. The fairy tales are true, huh? I wonder if there's a way to take advantage of that. That they are hiding from uh, the robots? I wonder if there's a way to do that. So let's see here. There's a lot of loot. Found a lot of scrap so far. I really need to know where the shaman is going. I think he was over here somewhere before. So we can move a little bit faster. I really want to know where he's going to go. Because I have to take him out first. That's the thing. So we got to see if he moves over here. Because then I got a plan to do it. He's coming here. Okay, good. Let's just try and see what it looks like here. It's gonna be that gun. 75. So she can actually miss. So if she was over here, she would have had 100%. Because, yeah. Okay, so she can get 100% right there. He already has 100%, so he can stay where he is. That's good. And Borman, 75. Can you get 100 at some place? Only there. Same as Selma. What about here? Oh, that's 50, because of the range. So for him, there's no real advantage in moving. The only one would have been here. But that's where she gotta go. Yeah. See if I can move her there quickly. Oh, they all I don't need an start assist. to move. If I go inside there, I'm going to alert him. So, I'm going to do like I did in the previous episode. I'm going to order myself in these places, and I'm going to cut to where he's back. Okay, so now he's coming in here. So we're going to do the ambush. As soon as he stops, right there. One hundred percent. One hundred percent six damage. He is gonna do nine. That's fifteen. 
And if some one of them crits, he's gonna go down. And then we have Borman. He's the only one at 75. I could do that one at 100. Because I really want to make sure that he dies. So who has the highest crit? I think he has... Who has the highest crit chance? I can check that during uh, ambush. Okay. Um, he has 25. She has 25. And he has 35. So I'm probably gonna do him first and then go with uh, Duck's head 100%, right? Yep. That means I can save Selma. I don't have to use her. If they crit. Please be a crit here now. Yes. Perfect. And now, ducks. Kill him. I hated that asshole. That's good. That means we will not have any reinforcements appearing. So that's really good. What kind of grenades do we have for later? I think I only have Molotovs and the others, don't I? Oh, I can check these. But I think that's the only one I have. If he moves, that's gonna be... I don't get the option of... That's a little bit weird, actually. That is weird. Um, but the, he's a tank, and does he have like a minigun or something? What is that in his hand? Grenade or flamethrower or something? So let's do Overwatch on her. Overwatch. And just Let's see what happens. I'm gonna smash him. Yes, damn. Whoa. Damn. It is the first time I'm seeing a tank, so I have no idea how bad this is. So all of them gotta deal with the tank. No question about it. Because he has to go. All you got? Nice. Your turn. Now it's getting fun. And Borman. What? He's stunned for a turn or two. Damn. Yeah, he's still stunned. Oh, can I use him now? Nope. One more turn. That's really not good. Not good at all. Ah, uh, he has the exact same as Borman, the knockback. I did that. What do you think about that, huh? No. The bird hit him. Oh, yeah. gotcha. no. oh shit. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, 
she gonna reload? I'm getting nervous. <laughs> uh, come on out, you're gonna reload. And let's see. And Borman. The question is, cause he's not behind cover anywhere. He really has to get into cover, because he's almost down. The question is if he should focus the uh, these guys instead. I have one more of those, but I'm not going to use that here. There's no point for it. So let's do these guys first. He has to go. Two damage left on him. Come on, Selma, you can do it. Now that was a good kill. Nice one. Ooh, that's full cover even. Um Yeah, I gotta I gotta. And Change weapon. 25. That is not enough. Maybe I should have healed instead. That's good though. That de decision decision is good. Um, that one can give fifty. I don't like that. What would that one give? Seventy-five, but it's not good enough damage. So I'm gonna go here. We need to get the hunter down. The marauder does like one damage, but the hunter does a shit ton, like three or something. So he could actually kill Borman with one shot now. Are you serious? Ow! Both of them? Seriously? Yeah, he did it. <laughs> and he had 50. Get that annoying freak! No sweat! We I call him freak. Stupid stalkers! That's, that's good. That's, that's good. That's not good. They came out. That's how we roll. And you're gonna take out. No, not. Re Where is the other hunter? What is my shot from here? Basically nothing. How far can I move? I still have 100%. I can move there, but I wonder if that is a good thing to get move close to the hunter, because that means he's gonna get an advantage advantage from that. I'm gonna try and no, because then he's gonna shoot poor men. Oh, just kill the hunter. Bingo! Not too shabby. Because if he moves. I think he's gonna focus Borman, since Borman has the full cover, he's gonna decide to do ducks, since he only have half cover. That's my 
guess. And I, I'm, I'm hoping I'm guessing right. Only 25 right there. Not good at all. What kind of grenades do you have? Because we need to lure him out. No, I'm not going to use that. Um, okay, so instead, we've got to start moving back. So first, I'm going to move her back, and then I'm going to move Borman, the next one. Exactly. Just as I thought, I will focus ducks. So that's just great. He is gonna go. Yeah, let's go here. Oh, both of them are empty, okay. We'll go here. And ducks, you're gonna go. Because I need him to get out of that place. Question if he has if he has the range over here because it sort of looks like it. And do a reload. And yeah, do a reload. And that is very far away though. But Let's do another watch and see if I get lucky. I did. Oh, nice. Out of range. But... No good place at all for this. 75 right there. And that... Is that covered? Nope. He could go down with that though. So let's do it. He won't be able to kill ducks. That had to hurt. Um fifty on that one. Fifty on that one. So the range on those are the same. If I use that one and reload. No, I won't be able to. Damn. But he's gonna focus ducks this time. No qu no question about it. Let's just watch. turn over watch for the because why not? And put you here. And maybe do an overwatch. Overwatch. Oh, that's too bad. Both of them missed. Damn. Damn the stalkers! He hit. Of course he did. Um. 25. 25. I don't see any number here. Why don't I see any number here? No chance to hit. Well, that's lovely. Don't know if I want to spend that though. Yeah, she's she can't hit him from here. What about Borman? Alright, I need to reload again. So I can't really help with Borman. And what I did here now is that I'm going to still keep him there. Which is not what I should have done, really. I need to move so he comes to me. 
there instead. Because he has to come to me. That's out of range for him, so he has to move closer. So put Selma here. And just do another watch and see if it works. Overwatch. And you just hide. Overwatch. Ah! Seriously? That means he's gonna shoot at me. Yeah. Overwatch. Let's do the same to him. Just gonna Overwatch. 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 I have no idea what he's doing right now. But Overwatch. Let's lure him Overwatch. here. Overwatch. Seriously? Overwatch. That's the thing though, he can see me from here. Even there? Seriously? He has that good of a range? If I put her here, apparently he didn't have that range, but ducks do. It's ducks that has that kind of range. No, I forgot to change character. My bad. My bad. That's my fault. Just what I hoped wouldn't happen. I should have just used the effing Molotov on him. Because my idea was okay, now they're gonna heal up since they're gonna be out of combat. Like here now. <laughs> you did it, kid. But they reacted over there. So that's not gonna happen. Shit. That's really not good. And I've never met them before, so I have no idea range or skills. So this is really bad. Let's do another watch on you. Overwatch. Overwatch. Oh wow. The question is, so that dude hasn't reacted at all. Is that the case? Because then, doesn't one of them have the, you know, He does. Ducks. But did he have Overwatch now? Yeah, he does. Damn. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been so good to get there. But I don't dare to do 
any drastic moves since he has overwatch. Because what I'm thinking is that if I throw the EMP on him, that means he's going to be stunned for three turns. And during those three turns, I can definitely take him down 26. Can she even get up here? Yeah. So what if I do stun him now? Anyway. Let's let's do that. We're gonna stun him. So now he doesn't do overwatch, of course. So Selma, you can move up here. You can just stand here and we're gonna kill him. We're gonna waste one turn on this. But he's he's down for a three. It says two, but it is three. And you're gonna stand over here. I can't get you up until the next turn. Oh, I can't get you up at all because he's standing by the ladder. That ain't good. That's not good. But apparently he has a 75% chance there. So you're gonna move there. You now we're just gonna blast him. Let's see. Let's see if there is a way for him to actually get up. There is. It's gonna cost him two points though. Can ducks get up? No. Ducks cannot get up there. What are the numbers? 75 from there? Can't get 100? Nope. Ah, oh, just because he doesn't have that many ammo. Okay, let's go there. And do that one, so I just get a little bit in on him. Ooh. Thank you. And Borman, I'm gonna grab you and get you up here. What is run and gun? Haha. Uh -huh. Where can I do that to though? Never used that one before. Do I have to click run and gun first? Maybe. Yes. Thank you. Too bad I didn't have one in that one. Oh well. Reload. And let's see if I actually can hit now. Gotcha. Yeah, he's a goner. And you're gonna reload. And we're gonna shoot you. So this definitely was worth it. Ah! 
And now they're healed up and leveled up. Perfect. Hey, over here. Why don't I see... There we go. This will be a little bit buggy here, up on the roof. But we still got that last robot left, but he's gonna be a piece of cake. Just wanna check this upper floor and then check inside the building, grab the purple item. I don't know why it does that. There is something... It's not quite working as it should up here. Okay, let's go downstairs. See what we find here. If there's anything here. Nope. Gotta grab all the scrap. All the scrap in the world. Oh, I see stuff over here. Oh, yeah the kills. Of course. This actually went a lot better than I thought it would, so I'm happy about that. I was actually worried there when the robot reacted. Thought both of them were gonna come and then we're gonna have to restart the whole thing. Pipe gun. Cobbled together from various metal parts and pipes, this crude gun offers decent capacity and reasonable accuracy. A common stalker weapon. Five and six, but the range is really good on it. It's really good range. Imagine that one, if it's silent, it didn't say silent on it though, so I don't think it is. It's gonna be easy here now, it's only him left. And then the dog, but the dog is someone we're gonna have to come back to in around 20 levels. And grab the loot where he is. Let's see, did I check this building before? I think I did. Just making sure. Yeah, there's nothing here. Oh. Look at these burns. Like this ghoul was struck by lightning. I've heard stories of metal men with powers like that. So we don't have to make it harder than it actually is. He has 16. That was close. Oh. <laughs> That's typical. Oh well. Uh, it's gonna be a piece of cake. No matter what. more damage on that one. Let's see, you're gonna use that weapon. Does like that, that hurt? You're not even gonna get a turn. Stupid robot. Cause we're gonna get you out of here before then. Goodbye. Get your asses over here. And that's Oh, that's like a meme for Sweden, I guess. Post Mord, it says for guys in English, but yeah. In Sweden, it's called, it's the Postal Delivery Company. 
but instead of being an M, it's an N, like in nature. So post Nord. But they have had very big issues. Like they can't do deliveries, they can't get stuff in time, stuff disappear. Uh, there's a lot of shit that's been going on, so. And post Mord. Mord is like murder in English. So that's male murder, basically. It's what that says. Male murder deliveries. I think that's the best way I can describe it. Just like a side note like that from a fellow Swede. I think we got everything here now. That's where we killed the robot, and there was no way up on this building, right? Chicken. If there is, maybe there is something on the roof. There is a way up. Just check up here. And if there's nothing we've done on this map. Yep, there's nothing. Okay, good. So now let's go through. He is gonna get the 50% critical chance when shooting from high ground. That's awesome. And it's a passive, so really good. Uh, hmm. No, that's a passive. So I'm probably gonna do that because that is really good. Like what Borming could do, it's a really good one to have. Uh, you are invincible for one turn. That's a very good one. This one also though. Eat organic corpses to restore HP. The question is how much he restores. So I'm gonna save the points on him. So let's see about the gun that we got. I'm not gonna change that one out because that destroys covers and knocks back. This one has 20 in range, so no use in switching that out. This is 19, 16, 13, 14. It doesn't feel, I feel like there is really no no better one. And it's not silent. Nope. So I'm gonna keep it for now until I can get something good. See how I... Alright, now he doesn't have anything at all. Now I don't have an EMP anymore. That's not good. I swap to you. Can I fix your mutations? Yes, I can. Uh, that one, of course. And that one. Let's see here now. That's a passive. 25% chance of pulling bullets out of the air. That's really good. That one is really good to use. Sneak between covers. Giving you the ability to pass by others mostly unnoticed. Ooh, that's the one that the brother characters had. So I have to choose that one no matter what. Control and organic and... Oh, that's also really good. Damn.
they are both very good. I'm gonna do that one, because I saw in the last two missions how effing powerful that can be. And give you more HP. What kind of weapons do you have now? So maybe you should get that one. 5, 6, 15. But that one is increased to level 2. And that is the same kind of weapon I have on Selma. But hers has a mod on it, I think. There we go. Got a little bit of stuff on it. Oh. Oh, these are the stuff that we found out during the missions. Okay, never seen this before. Never clicked on the backpack before. But that took us up to 25% actually. Not really good. So that area is done. Except for the dog. So let's head over to the Ark and fix some stuff. See if any of them has anything to say about the place we visited. My brave, fierce stalkers, you make an old man feel young. I heard of your recent exploits and how your search for Hammond now leads to the Nova Sect's base in the south. They call it the Cathedral, but it is anything but. My brave stalkers, I pray you find Hammond in good health and return him here safely. If the Nova Sect probe Hammond's mind, The Nova Sect's leader, Plutonia, is obsessed with some prophesied doomsday that never comes. The end of the world isn't coming fast enough, so Plutonia wants to jumpstart Armageddon with weapons left here by the ancients. Weapons that tore this place apart. Weapons Hammond could be forced to restart. To worship the ancients is to worship death. We are the lights that never go out. We are the Ark. And you will save us all. May your search for Hammond continue in complete safety. The Ark thanks you for your service. Be well. So yeah, he has some stuff to say about the progress of with Hammond. Here those zone dogs are getting big. I mean big. I hear they can knock you down if they get a running start. So don't go petting them or anything. And they travel in packs, so if you see a dog barking for his buddies, <laughs> get the hell out of there. That advice is free of charge. That is really good to know for when going after that dog. He was alone, but he works like the shaman does then. He barks and calls for reinforcements. So yeah, that's uh, that's really good to know. Uh, let's see here now. I don't have enough to upgrade his weapons. But I think it's, yeah, it's 30. So there's really nothing I can do about that. And I don't think I have a mod. Nope. I have nothing of the sort. So Later, stalkers. That has to be left like it is. Pull up a stool, stalkers. We found one more point. Ooh, that is a really good one. I do want this one. Grenade damage by four. 
I'm thinking this means that there's gonna be more and more mechanical enemies coming up. That one is against mechanical EMP. So there are probably gonna be more of that. Because by the looks of it, the ghouls are afraid of them as well. So. Yeah, I think they're gonna show up more and more now. I don't have an EMP right now. I might have to buy one. To at least have one for the next mission. Pretty expensive though, 88. Safe travels. So yeah, that's what we're going to leave it for this episode. Uh, we're going to continue on in the next one. Where we're going to head south. We're going to do go down into the Iron Serpent. And move down here because we've got to follow the mission now. Because this one, i uh, pretty sure was level 25. And we reached 25 now, so it's all good. So thank you for joining and I hope to see you in the next one.